Now, one of Edinburgh's most popular attractions has launched a new tour to celebrate Women's History Month. Her study tours will take place at the Real Mary King's Close during the month of March and will tell the real stories of the women who helped shape the capital's history. Proceeds from each ticket sold will be donated to women's organisation Strut Safe. Indigo Stafford has been finding out more. This is where Mary King would have lived in the 17th century. Her close has gained a reputation in history as being a safe haven for independent women. And it's one of only two in Edinburgh that are named after females. And while she died hundreds of years ago, her legacy as a trailblazer for women lives on. Hi there, my name is Mary King. Yes, as in Mary King's Close. See, closes were named after important people. I held the title of Burgess, so I had voting rights. Quite unusual for a woman of my era. I was the representative of my street in council meetings, and I was known once or twice to take men to court who had outstanding payments and would not give me the money I was due. You would not cross Mary King. Finding female empowerment during a time of great inequality, Mary King was considered ahead of her time, and her story is just one of many that will be told during the new Herstory Tours. 45% of heads of household here on Mary King's Close were women, uh, which is just a, a phenomenal number, um, which is why we say it's a haven for independent women. We've researched heavily into these women and we want to share their stories, how they were treated during the time and how we can learn from the from what these women went through in today so that we can shape a better future for women. For every ticket sold, the attraction will donate a percentage of the proceeds to Strutsafe, an organisation set up to help women feel safe following the death of Sarah Everard. You can call them for free uh, when you're walking back home by yourself uh, or if you're just like two women and you're scared and you need support, that you can call them for free and they would give you a chat throughout the whole walk back home. Uh, unfortunately, it's something that we still need today uh, but I think they're doing an amazing job uh, in supporting women who feel that they are not secured in the streets. Despite living centuries ago, the fascinating women who lived here are still having an impact on our lives today. Indigo Stafford, STV News, Edinburgh.